All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you import either individual materials or an entire course into your Moodle course. All right, so once you are in your Moodle course and you want to bring things into your course, you will want to come where it says more, select that, and you want to go to course reuse. Once you're in course reuse, it's actually going to show you a bunch of different courses that may be uh, that that you are connected to. You will want to select the course that has the content that you want in it. I'm just going to randomly select a course here. I'm going to choose this one, and once I do that, I'm going to select continue. Now on this screen, it's going to ask you. Uh, it's going to have a bunch of things checked. By and large, I would say. The things you'd really want to include are activities and resources. Uh, you don't necessarily need to include blocks. I would include files and filters, uh, calendar events, probably not. Question bank, especially if you're bringing over a quiz. Groups and groupings probably won't matter as much depending on the course that you're teaching. Uh, but if you do, if you do use groups, then you'll want to make sure that's checked. Um, custom fields, unlikely if you're not using that. Uh, content bank content, which sounds redundant, but that's the name of it, um, and legacy course files. So those those are the ones you definitely want to, and some of this will vary based on what it is you're bringing over. If you're bringing over an item or two uh, and it's not a quiz, then you probably don't need the question bank. All right, so at this point, I can just hit next, and now it's going to lay out that entire course uh, that I'm copying from. So if I want everything in that course, if I want to copy the entire thing, I can certainly do that. I can just scroll to the bottom and hit next. But if I'm only looking for a couple items, then I am going to probably uncheck a bunch of these. And what I recommend is if it's a section that you're not taking anything from, remove that, just select the section and turn that off so that you don't have to check each of these. All right, but say within week six, um, oh, this is, you know, I really want the action research draft, so, but I don't need the agenda and I don't need this item. Okay. And then, oh, I don't need anything here. So I'm just going to move through. I'm going to uncheck a lot of these things, all right? Do all, get rid of all the extra stuff. I don't need these things. They're good to go. I also, if you're copying things over, be very careful that uh, you can also end up copying things that are already templated to be in your course. And so if you do that, if you don't do that, right, if you don't check this, then you'd have a duplicate announcements and you'd have a duplicate course syllabus and all of that. So just be aware of, of what you're checking and what you're not. All right, so really, as I look at this list, the only thing I'm actually gonna copy over is this item here. Looks good, perfect, I'm gonna hit next. It's going to basically say these were all the choices that you made. Notice anything with an X means it's not coming over. And so we can keep scrolling down. We will see somewhere here the, oh, in week six, here's that item that I'm going to bring over. Perfect. So I keep going down to the bottom and I select perform import. That does a little countdown. This, this process happened really quick. If you were bringing over a lot of course content, this could take a minute or two. You'd see a bar that would slowly fill up as they're copying things over. This only took less than two seconds. I'm going to hit continue. And now, if I notice, if I come down here to week six, if you take a look, notice that that item, action uh, research, has been added to this course. Um, so that has been, that is now part of the course. And it was pretty easy to do. Uh, if I made a mistake and I was like, oh, this isn't the item I want to use, I simply turn on the edit mode and of course go right back down to that item and nix it. So I select the three edit button and hit delete and it's gone. So that's it. That's how you copy a cor either a course as a whole or individual items from a course. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.